Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, welcome back to another NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima tutorial. Now, in this video, what I'm going to show you is how you can import some 3D scan assets into NVIDIA Omniverse so you can start creating your environment in here. All right, so here's my 3D scans library, and we will import our 3D cliff for now. If I scroll down, you're going to see we have multiple LODs for this 0, 1. We will import the 0, of course. Now we'll scale this up to maybe two by two by two. And the next thing we're gonna do is actually apply textures. Now, if you can see right here, and I go to the albedo, if I drag and drop this here, nothing happens because we actually have to create a material for it. So if we go to create and go to material, I'm gonna choose Omni PBR. And then it's gonna create a new material. I'm gonna double click this and type cliff. Click it again. And it's going to open up the material and shader. So if I go to Albedo, go ahead and browse this, go to that cliff, and go to the Albedo right here, this file. I'm going to press select. And then I'm going to click this and drag it to that mesh. And now we have color to it. So perfect. So let's go down and see what else we can apply. Now this one has a roughness map as well. So browse. I believe it's like this one. As you can see, roughness. Select. Now, sometimes you're going to have to mess around with the color space for these. So if I go to albedo, see the color space for this is raw. If I change it to raw, if I can change it to sRGB. So sometimes you might have to fix this, the color space, depending on your file. Okay. All right. So we don't have metallic. So let's go to AO or ambient occlusion. Browse. Go right here and you're going to see AO. Select that. And let's go turn it to one and you're gonna see that it's gonna get really crunchy. I mean, it might be too much, so it's gonna be like 0.2. All right, I'll scroll down. There's no emissive texture, there's no opacity map. So we'll go to normal and it's this one. I can pick it out of a lineup right there, so normal. And this is only 4K as well. It's not even 8K because uh, 8K costs a lot of bit more. Now, again, as you can see, this looks kind of wrong. doesn't look right. So we'll go to the color space and go to raw. And that's going to fix it for us right there. I'm going to reduce my camera speed there. And additionally, you can turn up the normal if you want. If you want an extra crispy. I think for me, I just want to maybe 1.5. Looks good. Okay. Scroll down. We don't have any detail normal map um you can mess around with the uv right here if you want to change the translator scale so if we go to like two by two um but obviously you're gonna see that that's gonna jack that up but that's pretty much it this is uh the first asset we created so that's good this is more like a background kind of like scatter it looks kind of cool and what i'll do is i'll do another scatter here for the ground floor so let's go to rock scatter jet SPB and again we'll look for that OBJ or FBX okay looks like this one only has an LOD for the OBJ so that's okay and we'll make this 2x2x2 two by two by two. and again we'll just do the same exact thing create material Omni PBR now right now displacement and tessellation is not supported but I was told that they are gonna be working on that so this right here is gonna look even better in the future hopefully so let's go to scatter and albedo, 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 okay, right here. Let's get that color in there. Scatter, good. So scroll down, let's get a roughness. Once again, roughness is right here. Good. Now I'm going to change this to sRGB. All right, scroll down, roughness, get our AO. AO is right here. And let's change that to 1, 1.5. Change this to sRGB. Alright, so again, just messing around with it. Let's go to our normal map. And normal map is right here. Perfect. And as you can see, it's wrong. So let's go to raw. And here you go. Looks nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, y'all. Um, what we're gonna do next is obviously import some other characters and talk about some rendering options we have here in NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima.